resilience, a simple word with heartbreaking implications. It's what one recognizes in Nasser Sefzavi, who led the non-violent Iraq, a movement, protests in the Rif, a region in Morocco, home to many indigenous tribes. Sefzavi has paid the price for his leadership. He was arrested in 2017 and received a 20-year prison sentence for undermining public order and threatening national unity in 2018. Sefzavi was born in al Husayma, the Rif's largest city, in 1979. His family has long been steeped in the political activism of the region, pride in their Rifian identity and a willingness to lead. In the 1920s, his great-grandfather served as a minister of the short-lived Rif Republic as local tribes sought independence from colonial Spain. So Sefzavi's decision to serve as a key leader of the 2016 Iraq, which was propelled by a security officer's brutal murder of fishmonger Mohsin Fekri in al Husayma that October, was no surprise. Sefzavi and his compatriots organized massive, non-violent demonstrations to advocate for investment and economic developments. The Moroccan government has drained the Rif of resources. Sefzavi's commitment to non-violence and justice is as remarkable as his resilience. In a 2018 letter to the European Parliament, Sefzavi recounts a litany of abuses committed against his people. The extermination of a complete tribe in 1898. Spanish horses use of chemical weapons in the 1921-1926 war that left the Riffians riddled with cancer. The brutal response to a 1958 revolt. The 1984 bread uprising which authorities violently smashed. And the Arab Spring when authorities killed and burned bodies of five young men. Sefzavi recalls the bitter history to demand freedom and dignity, not revenge, for himself and his people. In his own words, he aims to one day awaken in an armless world, with its citizens living in peace on this beautiful blue planet. Despite this commitment to non-violence, Sefzavi and many other activists have been mercilessly prosecuted, imprisoned and tortured since receiving their prison sentences. Their legal defenders are not immune from the government's ongoing wrath either. In November 2022, Mohamed Siane, who presented Sef Savi, was arrested and sent to prison on a wide array of charges. In the wake of Sef Savi's own conviction, his parents have had to demonstrate their own resilience in the face of his absence and their own sense of loss. His mother, Sulika, has donned black every eight since. Despite his imprisonment, Sefzavi's leadership is still crucial to the Riffian cause. From his jail cell, he has documented the abuses perpetrated by security forces against him and other activists. After he released a video in July 2017 detailing his treatment, protests erupted in several cities within the outside of the Rif, calling for his release. The government's crackdown has largely snuffed out the Hirak's momentum, but the movement's breadth and depth are still unprecedented in the Rift's history. It was the largest series of public demonstrations since 2011, gathering tens of thousands of people. Sefzavi and other Hirak leaders were noteworthy for expressing socio-economic demands, receiving national and international attention and transcending class divisions, all without violence. Riffians, who remain committed to political change in the Hirak's wake, have also inspired Moroccans outside of the Rif to more openly criticize the government through their own bravery. Nasser Sefzavi has demonstrated resilience when advocating for his fellow Riffians. 
now he must rely on them to apply that same trait for his sake. His health is deteriorating in prison as his captors prevent him from receiving medical treatment. From his cell he has told us the Freedom House of his despair, of his loss of hope. Now he is relying on others to keep the spirit of the Hirok alive. Not only so that his fellow Riffians live dignified, just and free lives, but that he can too.